going on, YouTube list? EXO coming at you here. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out a brand new Bluetooth speaker. Now, if you remember, about two years ago, we first introduced you guys to DOS Audio. We gave away a Cloud Fox and a couple Cloud Books. Now, to keep the tradition going strong, we got another one, some more DOS. This is the Traveler. Now, it's supposed to be waterproof, so we're gonna be putting it to the test right here in this video, and we're gonna be doing a sound test just overall putting it through the EXO paces. So stay tuned and let's see how this bad boy does, shall we? The first thing you'll realize is that it is built rugged. It has a nice feel to it, good solid construction and everywhere on it is sealed. So the waterproof rating so far seems to be pretty realistic. There's not a single part that feels flimsy or movable. So this is really good for someone that's maybe on a job site. It also has two pretty decently bright flashlights in the front with reflective housings in it. And if you pay close attention, they actually double as eyeballs to the Fox emblem. And it even throws out a pretty aggressive strobe light, say if you're ever in an emergency. And behind the waterproof flap on the back, we have the simple auxiliary power and storage slots. Aesthetically speaking, this is probably one of my more favorite Bluetooth speakers that we've checked out here on the channels. But uh, how does it sound? Looks aren't everything. This thing needs to at least sound pretty good. Now, does it? Well, it does, yes. You know, it throws volume really well. Its register is perfect for projecting volume. But when it comes to the bass lines, it just, it lacks something just like our last one did. And I don't understand it because it has a pretty large passive radiator here in the back with two uh, 10 watt drivers in the front. Now it probably is because of the housing is so small for the amount of cone area they crammed into this because I mean, that's a probably a three inch passive driver on the back. So it's probably just not given enough space to really mature. But if you're in an environment where base isn't everything, say a work site, sure, it, it could do well for you. But since it is waterproof IP66, maybe that makes up for it a little bit since you can literally just douse this thing in whatever environment you're gonna be in. How waterproof is waterproof? All these, you know, ratings come out left and right from companies saying Bluetooth, you know, waterproof speaker, but is it really true? Let's go ahead and hop outside and put this thing to the test. Well, yeah, I think it passed that test with flying colors. Still ticking like a Swiss clock over here. It's nice to have something that's actually waterproof so you can trust it in crazy environments. Now I do have to say after regular use outdoors, there is a noticeable sand buildup around the uh, metal mesh here and other areas around the plastic. It's not a huge negative, but I did find myself going out into the garage and blowing it out with an air compressor just because some of the pebbles get stuck in these small little mesh holes. But as far as problems are concerned, that's not a really big one in my opinion. What I'm more concerned about is the lack of battery life, I should say. It has an operating voltage of 7.4 volts with a 2200 milliamp battery. But I did notice I'm only getting about six to eight hours on a full charge with this bad boy. Now that may be because I listen to bass intensive music, so it's probably working harder than it needs to be, but I definitely did notice that it doesn't last longer than the other ones that we tested. So enough of me jabbing here, let's go ahead and let you hear it firsthand. We're gonna go outside, put it on a fence post and just walk backwards in the woods. Just a kind of a decent environment for getting a real life uh, clue of what this could be like. There'll be a lot of trees around, hopefully not too much ambient noise so we can get a good test here on film. So let's go outside. So let's go outside and test it.
<laughs> I apologize about that dog barking. That really sucks. <laughs> Come enjoy the music, buddy. Come on. Come on. That's right. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Well, it looks like the little guy out there isn't gonna give us a moment's peace, so we gotta come inside and do the rest of the song testing right here indoors. So as you can see, it sounds pretty damn clean. So what do you think? You heard it outdoors and indoors it does pretty well. It sounds decent, you know what I mean? But I don't know if you can tell on video what I'm trying to explain. The fact that it just feels like it's missing a little bit of the low end, a very common problem for Bluetooth speakers nowadays, just because they're, they, they, they're seemingly getting smaller and smaller, but packing in the same power drivers. So at the end of the day, it's not your ultimate sound quality Bluetooth speaker, but with the features that it does pack, it kind of makes up for it. The waterproof, the flashlight, and I love the fact that it has the straps. So overall, I'd give it a nice thumbs up. So if you guys wanna check out more, there'll be a link in the description. All right, guys, much more videos to come of Frankenstein and Little Blue. I'm just trying to get caught up over here with projects. So I will talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Woo!